Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex, and today we're looking at a paper from the Hugging Face Trending List, published on July 4th, 2025, about four days ago. It introduces a new memory system that can reduce the time to first token, which is basically how long you wait for the first word, by over 91%. This paper is titled, MemOS, a memory OS for AI system. And it essentially proposes treating LLM memory like a computer's operating system. A really cool idea. The authors argue that current LLMs struggle with memory, which limits their reasoning and ability to learn continuously. Also, the authors have open-sourced MemOS on GitHub. If you head over to the repository, you'll find the full source code, clear getting started examples, and installation instructions. It shows you how to work with their modular memcube architecture for managing different memory types, like text, KV cache, and more. All right, so how well does this new system actually work? Well, this first chart really tells the story. It shows results from a benchmark using an LLM judge score, which is basically having another powerful A. I grade the quality of the model's answers. You can see MemOS. That's the dark blue bar, consistently scoring the highest. It beats other memory systems across different kinds of reasoning, like single hop, which is answering a direct question, and more complex multi-hop and temporal reasoning, where the model has to connect several facts over time. So to understand why MemOS performs so well, this diagram shows how the authors think about memory. It starts with the transformer circuits, the model's core processing units, which create both abstract and specific knowledge. The key idea is the memory hierarchy for that specific knowledge. It includes implicit memory, which is baked into the model's core parameters, external information, like from a database, and explicit memory. This explicit memory is extracted from model activations, essentially the dynamic real-time signals inside the network as it works. MemOS is built to manage this whole system. Building on that hierarchy, this table provides a really useful map of different memory mechanisms. It organizes them by time scale, either short-term or long-term, and by how the knowledge is stored, either explicitly or implicitly. For example, a common explicit long-term method is retrieval augmented generation. That's where the model pulls in info from an external database to answer a question. MemOS is powerful because it's designed to manage and combine all these different approaches, from simple prompt context to direct memory editing. This next figure really visualizes how all those different memory types work together. We see three main boxes. First is plain text memory, which is explicit organized knowledge. Think of a medical textbook. Then you have activation memory, which is more dynamic, like a doctor's real-time thought process during a diagnosis. And finally, parameter memory, which is the deep, learned knowledge baked into the model itself. The key is how MemOS moves information between them, through processes like encoding, caching, and fine-tuning. This flexibility creates a unified, controllable, and evolving memory space. So the core building block that makes all this possible is something called the memcube, which is what we're looking at here. Think of it as a standardized container for a piece of memory. It has two parts. The metadata header tracks information like when the memory was created and who can access it. Then you have the memory payload itself, which can hold plain text, an activation state, or a parameter patch, which is a small, targeted update to the model's knowledge. The mem scheduler uses these unified cubes to manage everything efficiently. Okay, so building on that idea of the mem cube, this diagram shows the complete architecture of mem OS. It's a three-layer system. At the top, you have the interface layer, which takes a user's prompt and understands what it means. The middle is the operation layer, which acts like the brain, deciding which memories to fetch. And at the bottom, the infrastructure layer is like a secure library, handling the actual storage and access control. The memcube we just discussed is the key. It carries information through this whole pipeline, from input to the final memory equip response. All right, so putting that whole architecture into practice, the results are pretty clear. By treating memory as a first-class system resource and using the memcube to unify different knowledge types, MemOS effectively solves major LLM challenges. It consistently ranked first on all reasoning tasks on the Locomo benchmark. It's also incredibly efficient, significantly reducing the time to first token, or TTFT. That's how quickly the model starts responding. 
This work really lays the groundwork for turning LLMs into continuously evolving intelligent agents. That's all for this week's AI Research Roundup. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Alex.